<laughs> Hi. So today, because I love Art Pop so much, I decided I really wanted to do an Art Pop look. I don't have the right wig. I thought it was fairly close to this Venus wig, or close enough for me to create a look. And so today, I recreated an Art Pop era makeup creation. <laughs> Keep watching if you want to see how I created this look. All right, so this look was worn for interviews, performances. There was an amazing Snap Snap performance and Venus was done in this wig. If I'm wrong, you know, don't hate me for it. So that's what I'm recreating today. Okay, okay. So let's just get into it. So I'm going to try to stay true to the exact products I use at the time, whether or not they're discontinued, okay? I always used Embryolisse as my primer. No other primer. Embryolisse was the primer. And it is a fabulous primer and a fabulous moisturizer. And I would really just load this on. I used this for Gaga every day, for everyday looks, for stage looks, for TV, for everything. It's the pretty much. <laughs> Ladybug, this isn't about you. It's pretty much the only primer I used on her. <laughs> because it performed so well. You get that in there. And I have been doing my base off camera for some of these videos, but I feel like for the art pop looks, you guys really do ask about the skin the base, the base. So I'm giving you the full shebang. So believe it or not, the skin, the base for many, many of these looks, Garnier <laughs> BB cream. Now I don't even know how I discovered this. At the time it only came in this light slash medium shade. They may have more shades at this point. It does have sunscreen in it which is a great thing for regular life. Usually for camera, it's not a great thing, but somehow it doesn't affect camera. It still photographs beautifully, looks beautiful on high definition television. It's a miracle. See how beautiful that is? It comes out like almost runny in a beautiful way. And you can literally apply this with your fingers Now, for me, for my natural skin tone, which is quite fair, this can sometimes be a bit too tan or warm, but it's sheer enough that I can make it work. So I just rub it in like I would a moisturizer using my hands. If you're not comfortable using your hands, you can use a brush. Whatever makes you happy, really. Apply a little excess from your fingers onto your lids. Take the excess down your neck so that everything is matchy-matchy. And you see that bit I squirted out, I still have that much left. So you don't really need a lot for it to cover your whole face. Sometimes I'll take the extra on my hand on a foundation brush to use in a minute for touch-ups if I need it. So I would use a blender. As you can see, it's not fully blended. And just roll any extras into the skin. As you can see, you can still see the color of my skin shining through. So now, Gaga's brows were very thick. Mine are not, as you can see. So. For my brows, I'm gonna first use this cl a clear brow gel. You can use any clear mascara. Because for this look, the brows were very light. They were like a natural brow color, not like a sharp and defined brow. So I also am just gonna wipe off here any of the makeup that's in my brows, because that will also help. So if your brows are dark and you want to get this look, Freddie would use them for the wigs. Um, to make a root, and we also use them for brows to make them match. And this says Ash Brown. So I'm actually gonna go with Ash Brown by Giuliano. See that color? 
I'm just gonna go in here sparingly. But these have a lot of pigment to them. So you can use these on your brush, which I will show you. So take a brush like this, this is MAC 263. And we'll just go in like this and get some product on the brow brush. I call this a brow brush. This could also be a liner brush. Brushes are whatever you want them to be. And then I'll go in like this and use it to just give some little dabs of color so that it's not like super intense but just like a little sprinkling. And then you take any places where you have too much clumps of this product from the wand and you can just spread them out. Because for these looks, I was going for a very beautiful, natural, glowing goddess <laughs> sort of vibe. I'm going to mix this brunette by Anastasia. And I know there's a couple shades of brunette by Anastasia. This one seems to have more of a reddish brown sort of sparkly tint, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna actually not mix it, <laughs> I lied. I'm gonna use this to fill in right here in my brows. Or they need a little more warmth. Because the brow shade for this was warm. Which brings a nice warmth to the face and like softens the whole face, but not in like a bad way. <laughs> softens the makeup is more what I mean. Softening the face sounds like your face is turning into like Doug Funny or something. <laughs> For anyone who didn't watch Doug, as a kid I always thought it was weird that he had like no facial features. And this is very subtle. So it might seem like a lot of work for something so subtle because I'm not changing the shape of the brows or anything and I am barely changing the color. But I feel like little subtle things makeup wise are what make a look. So like if you're barely applying any makeup but you're doing just little subtle things, you can make a whole beauty transformation that looks as though someone is just not wearing any makeup. A lot of my favorite makeup looks by other people, like just overall favorite makeup, is when someone can use the least amount of product to make the biggest amount of change. So keep that in mind. It doesn't always have to be super big in order to make an impact. This is when I would take out my Becca, my beloved Becca lip tint. If anyone has these in a stockpile somewhere, and we'll talk because these are the loves, I would say love of my life, but I do have some loves in my life that are humans. We did a lot of promo <laughs> and a lot of bright sunlit photos were taken where the skin was flawless, and that's the goal. I'm going to take this Tom Ford brush number four, and I'm just going to clean out any little edges. But there's nothing on this brush, so I'm not adding any more product. All right, so I did have an everyday product that I don't have right now. The closest thing I can find to it is this. This is from Ritual Defeat. And this is called Celestial Sphere Eye Soot. <laughs> so this is called Fornax. It looks like that. It reminds me of Dr. Seuss. I'm going to put it on my palette. Fancy. Da da da. Smear, smear, smear. <gasps> Ooh. I'll take a brush like this. This happens to be Luxie 245 Small Shader small shady. So I'm gonna just dip into this for next, for next occasion. Just get a little bit. This stuff is like real intense, so just know what you're playing with, okay? So that's like a lot on that brush. But my, my situation here is that 
with these art pop looks, I wanted to have sheen just at certain parts of the eye. So it didn't look like eyeshadow, but it did look like a natural glisten. So there's one product I would use for this by Smashbox that I had this tiny tube of that was discontinued at the time and I used to like treasure it like Gollum. <laughs> but this one is fairly close to that. And luckily it comes in the larger packaging and it's not discontinued yet. Don't do it to me. Don't even think about it. I'm obviously gonna blend this, but just put it in these very strategic places. You want it to catch the light to look magical. If you know your own face or someone else's face w well enough, you'll know where those places on the lid are. I don't do it on the brow bone. You apply too much at once, it just looks like makeup. So this is like my art pop jam. Figuring out ways for the skin to look delish and magical. So kind of like watch where the light catches the natural oils on your skin and that's where you want it. And this is more like a goldy, gold white sort of color, but I'm still barely applying any each time I touch. So once you have the product placed properly where you want it, that's when I take a brush like this. This is MAC 286 and I kind of just blend it out so that there aren't any places that are too concentrated. All right, so sometimes, some days, I would do a brown MAC dip down liner, but I would do it like I'm about to show you. <laughs> Take your dip down and dip down into it, like so. I obviously always use my Chanel eyeliner brush because it's reliable and it gives me the most control, but whatever brush you like, some people like an angled brush, you know, different folks. So then you can smush out the excess onto your palette until you're here, right? You got this perfect little brush ready to rock and roll. The days that I would do a liner, I like with this sort of a look is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I would keep it super close to the lash line. You want it to look like it's not a liner. So we're gonna go right here, super close. So like you're on the lashes, any brown liner you have will do. You don't need to like run out and buy any of these products. Just giving you the hot gloss on what I used. You want to get it really tight in there because the goal is just to accentuate the lash line. You really don't want it to look like liner. Now we have an eyeliner that looks like we don't have eyeliner on, which is fab. So for me personally, I'm now quite oily, but Gaga would not be oily right now. We're gonna do the lashes. I know it seems out of order. We don't, haven't done our face totally, but that's okay. We curl them, obby. Big difference, huge. L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, which is a base because I love to prime my lashes. That's why I use this from the tube on myself. It's my own private collection. Don't get none that night, take off to the planet, to the planet Venus. I can't help it. It's such a good song. Mascara. Let's do Bad Gal Bang, Bang Bang, because I like these little itty bitty brushes. They really help me get up in there without getting mascara everywhere. Let's get our wig out of the way so we don't mascara her. We don't bang bang everybody in the process. Can't see around this world. Galaxy, space, and time. Okay, so we're mascara While we wait for the mascara to dry, we're going to, you guessed it, 
layer some more lip stain. I believe this is called watermelon. As you can tell, I really like it because we have been squeezing the last drops out of it for quite some time now. Let's see if we'll get lucky. Oh, yeah, we did. This one is so pretty. By the lips. Oh, yeah. It really smells like watermelon. For the sake of mattifying the skin a bit, because I am quite oily, I'm going to use my magic concealers and just spot a little bit. And with this look, I wouldn't have done much of any powder. It was like not, it's like an anti-powder look. These concealers are more mattifying, so. But I use very minimal powder for these looks. Although sometimes it was necessary for longevity, but or for, you know, TV, but like I said, as little as possible. So we haven't done our cheek colors yet, but I'm going to do some lashes first. So for this, I'm gonna do individual lashes. A lot of these looks I did individuals. They give a more subtle, natural look. I use my Duo Dark Glue. Get yourself a pair of tweezers. I'm sure you have a pair. I'm going to use the a mixture of the shorts and the mediums. So I just like dip them in the glue. Boop. And get a couple prepped like this. And with individuals, I don't let them, um, I don't wait so long for the glue to get tacky. It's just not as necessary as like a whole strip lash where you have to wait for the whole thing to dry. All right, I'll start with the ones I have here. Pick them up like that, like a little spider, and just start placing them like so. So you just kind of like rest them on your lash line like that. All right, so we got our individual lashes on. Ooh, she looks thicker than she does. You know what, who cares? not me all right for the blush and the contour so for this look I actually did a contour I was talking a lot about contour the other day but I had a contour phase and it's because of Tom Ford and it's amazing this is the shade and illuminate sculptor this one's intensity 2 I regularly used intensity 1 during art pop but I don't have it so we're gonna use intensity too. And in both intensities, the highlight is exactly the same. So this is the magic Art Pop era highlight. Tell anyone. <laughs> and I'm gonna look up your IP address and come to your house. And then congratulate you for watching my video. <laughs> okay, so this is literally how I would apply it. I don't know, I just found it to be the most effective. I would put it on my finger. She would do this. I would go like this. And then I would take a brush and blend it in. Now in a pinch for touch-ups, I would literally blend it with my finger because this product does blend really well with the finger. Now, the magic blush. This is Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in number six. This is a little travel size because the bottles are very beautiful and heavy. You literally need that much. Again, for this, I would take a little bit of it, put it on her lips, over the rest of those stains, and it gives this oh, gorgeous, gorgeous glow, like that. Okay. Then I would stipple on my hand, and then again like this. And 
just give this gorgeous flush that is the art pop blush now i promised you the highlight here you go i would take a finger i love doing it here because it gave almost like a sweaty look but in a good way <laughs> i would even use it here so any of those eye stuff i use would now look super creamy But most importantly, I would use it just like this, using my finger. Sometimes you could do a little of this. I was very into this side eye highlight because I would notice when she was rehearsing, that's where she would get real dewy. And it was really beautiful. This like natural, I don't even know what to call it. I call it the side eye <laughs> highlight. So right here, I would accentuate a highlight. If you were to do that with powder right there, it would accentuate fine lines. Secret. All right, and so if it is gonna be a long day and you don't wanna lose this fabulous look you have, you can take a little bit of this Ultra HD Makeup Forever translucent you don't want any color with a brush like this okay it's a very tiny brush so in a very concentrated area that you're going to be powdering and we'll get the extra off in the lid and then tap more off so we're looking at like this much okay and you can just tap it into the places that you don't care for extra shine. Everywhere else is deliberately glowy. Kind of helps if you stamp it in. So you can also do a setting spray to help set it and forget it. <laughs> Make a crock pot. More stains and beautiful Colors like this, we would layer throughout the day. A little bit of this Pravella by Kevin Aquam. This is, I use this for cheeks and lips. And use a little bit of the Stila. And again, back to Becca. These, I think these are definitely discontinued, but these are like an extension of the tints, but in pop form. And they're fabulous. So, yeah, this is Art Pop Era Venus makeup look. I love this era. I love these makeup looks. The natural, glowy, gorge fab. So I hope you liked it too. <laughs> Thanks for watching.